Hello guys, Pidis here again and today it's time for the 21st day of 30 Death Stories Challenge. And in today's story I would like to tell you something about event sourcing. What it is and maybe why you should think about using it. So let's start. In many systems uh, we are focusing on the current state of the system, on the current state our aggregates and entities and maybe it's good enough for many systems. Uh, but when uh, something uh, will go wrong, for example, users uh, make some uh, use case that uh, make some data inconsistency uh, in our system, etc., etc., um, we will want to have uh, an information how our uh, system uh, changed in in, uh, in time so for example we want to uh, have information that uh, there are one uh, two and three changes uh, of uh, state uh, of some objects and thanks to this we have a pattern called event sourcing and this pattern tells us uh, that um, we should store the uh, state of uh, our objects as a sequence of uh, events and these events uh, tell us that how the ob state of the object uh, changed in the past so for example we have uh, an account in the bank and uh, in our uh, account there are one thousand dollars and for example we take from this account uh, one hundred dollars and and then uh, uh, in the, on the account we have uh, 900 dollars uh, and uh, then in event sourcing approach we will have the basic uh, state of the uh, of the account and then we uh, will store the event that uh, we are taken uh, we we take we took from this uh, account one hundred dollars. And thanks to this, for example, we can uh, restore uh, state of the system from some point of uh, in the in the past. For example, we saw that there are uh, some bug yesterday, but today uh, it seems to be good. Uh, and then we can restore our system to the uh, some point in time from yesterday. And for example, we can make some audits in our system. Um, thanks to this, we can check that uh, user users uh, use our system correctly without trying to <laughs> make some bad, bad things with our system. Uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So uh, this uh, could be quite good um, approach for for the system, like banking systems, uh, when we want to have uh, a history of changing the state of the system. And uh, for implementation um, event sourcing, uh, you have to have some database called event store. And in .NET we have uh, some library, some framework. <laughs> I don't know how to, uh, how can I uh, call this? Called Martin, uh, implemented uh, um, by Oscar Dudic and others. Uh, it's uh, one of the Polish programmer. Uh, and uh, then uh, it's uh, the library uh, which use as a database post so I think you you can uh, try it and you can test it on your own uh, and, uh, you can read more about even source pattern because it's quite uh, interesting thing and it's quite popular <laughs> popular from my point of view uh, pattern uh, with uh, CQRS and uh, microservices architecture. So for, for today that's all. I have. Uh, I hope that you enjoy it. I hope you test it on your own and uh, see you tomorrow. So have a nice day and goodbye.